How does it feel to win the most prestigious Lifetime Achievement Award in Lumberjack history? Good. Very good. Well, there you have it, folks. It feels good. Very good. Dan Hannigan here, and that is footage from last year's LJC. But prepare yourself for the most highly anticipated event of the century. Lumberjack Challenge, 1,211. Oh, Manny, the Black Axe Assassin, remains undefeated. He was recently awarded the most prestigious Lifetime Achievement Award for his contribution and mastery of the Lumberjacking Arts. Lumberjack Challenge 1211 goes down tomorrow. And what's so exciting about LGC 1211? Four words, baby. Willie, the Wildfire Lopez. An unlikely opponent with puzzling origins, to say the least, has stormed the world essentially overnight with his amazing abilities. Let's take a look at what Willie had to say. Manny! Man, that puny swag eyed, lizard licking dog, that slog watching puny man, he ain't nothing. I fall the trees. I'm the lumber barber. I'm the stump assassin. I was put on this planet for one righteous reason. And the prophecy will ring true. A formidable foe indeed. The self-proclaimed stump assassin speaks for a prophecy in his latest New York Times bestseller, Trees That Are Too Many. Let's take a look at the tale of the tape. Manny came from a proud family of championship lumberjackers. His father before him, grandfather before him, and his great-grandmother before him. Manny was ready for Lumberjack Challenge 1211. His ritual pre-lumberjack challenge was underway. Two eggs, two bacon, two sausage, two pancakes. What the heck? This is called divine intervention, my friend. Do you know what that is? It's a term used for a miracle caused by a deity's active involvement in the human world. That's right, Manny. Now I do hate to do this to you, but you will not and cannot compete tomorrow because I will be crowned champ tomorrow and the world will heed my message. Need? He! Ask me, big guy. Now, no harm will come to you or your ex if you just cooperate and do as you're told. But if you don't, this beauty will be heeding my chills and weighing down my paper. You wouldn't. And I wouldn't mess with these guys, Manny. They know karate. Manny didn't know any karate. And the fact that these guys did was a bit frightening, to say the least.
Where do you think you're going? Back off! Don't you know this is jar? I didn't want to do this. <laughs> Although Manny was not traditionally trained in karate, let's see what happens. Stop messing around, Manny. Is he breathing? What were you thinking, Manny? He told you we knew karate. He told you we knew karate. He told you. <laughs> Once a hero, Manny's heart finally gave out. 911, what is your emergency? Uh. Hello? Uh, Sir? Uh, uh, Police are on their way. Please! Please! Broken furniture? Broken bottle? Unfinished meal. It's cold. How cold? Room temp. Rope. Ruffled up couch cushions. Signs of a struggle. Foul play. Me core a zone. My heart? Heart attack. Heart attack. What about a struggle? Anyone who's having a heart attack is going to struggle a little. Looks like he was having dinner, or breakfast for dinner in this case. Noticed some pain, struggled, and with his last ditch effort to dial 911. Phone's right there in his hand. Why would his food be stone cold if all this just happened? It's not stone cold, you said it was room temp. Obviously, he grabbed a pen and paper real quick to alert us if he died before we got here. And the broken bottle? Glass breaks when you drop it. Everybody knows that. <laughs> Shoot him! Shoot him! Freeze! I, my heart. My heart. <laughs> he had a heart attack. I told you. Textbook heart attack signs. Dan Hannigan here, reporting live from this beautiful sunny mountaintop location. One couldn't ask for better lumber on a sunnier day on a more perfect mountaintop. With only one minute left before this year's LJC, Manny's pushing the phrase fashion of late to its limits. We got here Willie, the Wildfire Lopez. Willie, how are we doing today? Oh, pretty good, Dan. How about you? Very, very good. Willie, it's extremely hot out there. There's already been two fires on these mountaintops. How do you combat those dry conditions? See, in these dry times, it's very important to stay hydrated. Now what I do, I keep a couple of lathered up pigs in my trunk. And I squeeze them suckers dry, and I slather that oil all over me. That's how you do it, down Louisiana style. <laughs> wow, I don't know what to say. But Willie, we're going to let you guys get warmed up and get ready for this competition. All right, sounds Thank good. Thank you for joining us. All right. Lumberjack Challenge 1211 is brought to you by... Soda Jack, because chopping down trees will make you thirsty. And Stumps Bar and Grill, no arm, no leg, no problem. Stumps Bar and Grill, now let's get back to the action.
Oh! No! You, you, you kill me, Willie! You kill me! No! 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 How does it feel, Willie? Killing your own brother? It wasn't supposed to happen, Manny! The world was supposed to eat my message! Well, it's a good thing I'm not dead. But it's a good lesson. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Manny has arrived. Woo, Manny! Numero uno en el mundo! Oh! Let's go, Manny! Let's go, Manny! At the stump to my left, the challenger, Ooh. Willie, the Wildfire Lopez. And at the stump to my right, the undefeated, undisputed, lumberjacking champion of the world, Manny, the Black Axe-Assassin. Lumberjacks, take your spots. Five. Four, three, two, one, and away they go. Manny off to a quick start as usual, but Willie's right behind him. Willie's gaining serious ground. We're in the home stretch. Fumble! Manny drops his axe for the first time ever. Willie's gaining serious ground. Manny's turning it on. Manny wins! Manny wins! Manny wins! No! You're all right, Manny. You're all right. You earned that. You earned that. Manny decided not to press charges against his little brother, Willie. They reconciled and co-authored a book together, Brokeback Brothers, the story of two broke brothers that had each other's back.